I'm Peter Nelligan. I'm professor of surgery at the University of Washington and the chief of the division of plastic surgery at the Univers University of Washington Medical Center. Um, plastic surgery is incredibly broad. It doesn't own a body part, it doesn't own a disease process. So we operate all over the body on all sorts of different disease processes and um, we interact with other specialties a lot, probably more than any other specialty. So it's incredibly broad and very gratifying and that's why I fell in love with it and that's why I still love doing it. My own particular area of interest is microsurgery um, and that is um, in my particular field it's related to oncology and cancer reconstruction um, and it, it's one of the areas where we really interact with all the other specialties in a very day-to-day um, -day way. Almost all cases are cases done with other specialties so it's a lot of fun. Well um, initially I got um, an email from Sue Hodgson, who was then working at Elsevier, um, asking for suggestions as to who should be the next editor. And so I sent her back a bunch of names that I thought would be good. And then she called me sometime later and, and said she'd like to come and chat with me some more. Um, so she did, and we talked about the book, and I told her what I liked about the book, the previous edition of the book, what I didn't like about the previous edition, what I think needed to be updated and changed. And then through a series of, of phone calls and emails, um, she asked me if I'd like to do it. And I jumped at the chance because I, th I thought it was a really worthwhile project and would be fun to do, um, and a lot of work, but that, as long as it's fun, then work doesn't matter. There have been some major changes over the years um, with the first edition. Um, the first edition, of course, is completely print-based because at that time we didn't have the internet. Um, the second edition had some online content, um, but again was mostly text-based. It was mostly black and white. Um, and this time we put everything in color and there's a very significant online um, part of the book. So the online version is more complete than the text version and we've moved a lot of stuff that used to appear in the text version online in order to save space in the print edition and that allowed us to A, have everything redrawn in color. Um, it also allowed us to um, consolidate the book because there was a lot of repetition and overlap and um, because we wanted to do it in color we were restricted in the number of pages we could have and so that actually turned out to be a really good thing because we got rid of a lot of the overlap and a lot of the um, the things that I saw as problems in the previous edition. Well they say that a picture is wor worth a thousand words and a video is probably worth a thousand pictures so um, being able to see somebody actually do the procedure uh, is is much more helpful than reading a piece of text about how to do it. The two actually complement each other because if you're not quite sure about some aspect you can go back and check the text. I did it because it, it was fun. I enjoy doing stuff like this. But I think it's really important that we have a definitive textbook for the specialty and, and, and plastic surgery has always been that and I thought it was really important to continue that tradition and I was really pleased that we could not only do that but update it and make it relevant to, to the way people use textbooks today by having the 160 videos and all the web content and the, and the, the references that are searchable and, and cross-referenced um, all online. Um, so for me it was a huge opportunity to make some contribution to the specialty I love.